Hello, we are live, and it is a Sunday night chill laundry stream. I'm only gonna be live for a few hours, um, so it's not gonna be anything that long. I'm just gonna be live basically while I'm uh, doing some laundry. I figured while I wait, while I do my daily grinds, I do it with you guys. Um, for those of you who were around this morning, I apologize <laughs> when I said that I was gonna stream. Uh, Sunday mornings, that is true, that is the plan, um, and then I forgot that literally this first Sunday morning is Father's Day, and, uh, which is, it's just pretty funny, because if you know, like, my real life, I was, like, I, I should know that, um, my gift even came in, uh, on Friday, so it was funny that I completely slipped my mind there, but, uh, of course, we didn't stream this morning, um, so we're doing it tonight. So we're still getting a stream in on Sunday, uh, but it's uh, in the evening, not necessarily <laughs> as early as I plan to do them going forward. It's it is so. Uh, how is everybody? Who's here? Okay, six seven. Only going to be a few hours. This is how a fourteen hour stream begins. No, I cannot. I cannot go fourteen hours, um, because I have a very 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 early morning tomorrow. Um, and I'm already very tired. So, you know how, um, you know, I've been like very busy and stressed for like a long time. And then most of it came to a conclusion this week. And we're going to be starting, you know, ske summer schedule because I have some more free time. And so this weekend was really like the, the one of the few weekends where I had literally nothing going on. And I'm just, you know, chilling. And it was just like, I don't know. I was just. <laughs> I just like um it was almost like more stressful than normal because it was like what am I like hmm how do I say this it was just like a breath and then it was like too much breath I don't know so <laughs> am I doing better meta I don't know this weekend was weird it was my first weekend in a while where I had a like a break and it was um I don't know it was an awkward weekend I had a I had a weird mental weekend We'll just say that. I don't want to get too much into it. Anyway, how are you guys doing? How's everyone here doing? G-Man is here, I see. I was uh, <laughs> I was uh, talking to him a little bit before the stream. Too bad I'm busy during the Anime Expo. Hope I have time to do it next year. Yes. I really hope that you do. That's a bummer you can't do it this year. Um, I'm really excited because they're in LA. And so, I don't know. So... Maybe, maybe, maybe next year, G-Man. If you do end up ever going, G-Man, hit me up. Let me know. Um, because I, I hope you can go <laughs> in the future. Uh, it's so weird to think we're like, we're back to live events. It was like, when's the last one? 2019? So it's a while ago. That was right when I first started. So we're back to live events for July for Azure Lane. If you don't know what I'm talking about, my Twitter, uh, I, you just check my Twitter, but uh, effectively... Azure Lane's going to be back at Anime Expo live. I think, what's the booth number? Um, hold on a second. Booth number 206. So if you're in LA, then uh, in a couple weeks, then then yeah. Also, if you're in LA during, during that time and you're going to go to Anime Expo, hit me up. Send me a message. Um, <laughs> Soul Goal is here. Quaalude Candy. That name, though. Hey, Alum, how's it doing? Not seen any content of Indomitable Bossing. Any idea how she do against light and medium armor bosses? Um, honestly, she's got too many fighters. And not really... I mean... Yeah, I, she, Indomitable was... Probably the... The worst of the SR Plus ships in the last, um, the last event. So that's kind of funny. Alrighty. We're in. Noshiro's Noshiro's in. She's ready. <laughs> oh my. How many of you guys here actually have um the stream notifications turned on for Discord? I feel like I do them, but I don't actually know how many people I, I could go look this up. <laughs> I could definitely just go look this up. Oh, no. We don't want New Orleans in there. We want New Orleans in the other one. 
We'll do this later. Um, all right, we'll do a one hour one. New Orleans goes in that one. Then we'll do the cube one. And then we'll start that 10 hour one once I go off of off of stream. Can rocket fighters compete with torp bombers in terms of damage? Um, if we're talking about like against light armor, would be probably the only situation where it would even be relevant to talk about this, but I would still say like a Ryuse is still going to do a majority of your damage. And if you count in the fact of crash damage, those uh, rocket fighters do not do any crash damage, which I assume you don't care about because that's a um, really only a PVP kind of sort of thing. So it probably doesn't matter. Also, this fleet's not equipped. If you remember, we took all their... <laughs> We took all their gear off on uh, on Friday. Was it Friday? I'm losing track of days, man. Um, yeah, we took off all their gears, basically. So now we're just running, like, Pepega gear. So we'll see if this ends up being fine. It is a German fleet, and KMS sucks. So it should be all right. Yeah, see? See, we're fine. We don't even need gears. I mean, we, we do have... We have uh, New Jersey's all... all um, equipped because we were using her to do bossing but she's equipped for bossing not necessarily uh, pvp oh nice plus 12 that's how you know you're having a bad season when you have plus 12s on sunday before the season ends <laughs> that's that's not how you, that's how you know you're having a terrible season yeah definitely you're here arm welcome brave welcome <laughs> I feel like uh, I feel like we're gonna have a little less than usual today, um, which is fine. Rip, rip, rip the rip the Twitch average, but yeah, who cares? I said I would stream today, but but I, so I so I'm doing that. I'm just here copying because of Indomitable's loadout. Oh, coping because of Indomitable's loadout. Yeah, I mean to be fair, we did know that she was gonna get something like that. I was really hoping she would get the formidable treatment where she had options, but she didn't. She just got illustrious treatment, um, which it's been a while since I've seen anyone use illustrious uh, non-ironically. So, so yeah. Also, now that my Juno doesn't have the Manju item, because I think we put it on Helena for the last fight. Holy crap! Does uh, does she die quick? Which is actually not bad, because I feel like she was dying really slow uh, sometimes with the Manju. You need to farm for New Orleans, but my phone needs to charge. Can you not do both? Is your, does your charger not uh, keep up with the battery uh, usage of the game? Alright, we got 2 hours and 14 minutes until reset. I'll, that's probably when I'll actually end streaming, too. Uh, I'll probably end streaming right after, right after the PvP reset. My guess, maybe I don't know. It is it is Admiral the Navy uh, day. It is end of the season day. Um, but but yeah, <laughs> we got a bunch of new followers in the last couple days, so that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh <sighs> season number 6969. I don't even know what number the season is. I'm sure I'm sure um Why can't I think of his name? I'm totally blanking on his name. I'm sure Envy. Sorry. I'm sure Envy will know exactly <laughs> what season number it is. Hey ALM, I hope you're doing well today. I got off I get off work soon, so hopefully I can catch your stream when I get home. Yeah, thank you, uh, Sadistic Toast. Um, hopefully you are. I'm only going to go for a few hours today. But if you are going to be getting off of work very soon, um, I, I look forward to you coming back. So hopefully your work was uh, okay today. It does. It's hot as hell where I live at the moment, so I don't want to kill the battery life in general. Yeah, got to get those. Uh, got to get those fans or those coolers or whatever it is. Ooh, I might die here just because I don't have my stuff equipped and this looks like a legit fleet. You can tell I don't have my stuff equipped because my, like, main fleet 
or sorry, my Vanguard fleet is literally like 13,000 power. Which is funny to say, because when I started playing the game, 13,000 power would have been amazing. But now it's like 13,000 power is like what you have when you have scrub fleets because of how far the power creep has come. But yeah, so that's that. Um, I think we hit to 19,000 on our back line when I was doing the New Orleans farm, which is like... Insane to me because one of my uh, most popular uh, short videos was a video, and shorts didn't come out all that long ago, uh, was a, a video showcasing a 17,000 power fleet, which at the time was like the highest you could go, um, and showcasing that like fleet power doesn't mean anything. Um, and basically just, I, I took an L for that one. I, I hurt my PVP win ratio for that video. Uh, <laughs> the things I do for you guys. Um, but no, yeah, I don't know. Need more power. Where's our 20 K? We'll be at 20 K in no, no time. I, I see. I, I mean, as soon as we hit, uh, as soon as we hit, uh, level 130, we'll be there easy. Not even going to be hard. This is going to be a really strange battle. Um, I might lose. We got to be careful here. If he has a Manju, New Jersey, then we lose, I think. All right, let's see who fires first. I do. That is what a high performance fire control radar is about. Let's go. I don't think he had a, a high performance fire control radar on because he was firing late, which is fine. But when we get all back lines with rainbow gear, maybe. I mean, we're almost there. We have, we have, I mean, my, my mole back line is mostly rainbow gear for guns, right? And then I guess we don't really, I mean, it's, I guess we don't have any guns for auxiliary, but that doesn't really matter. I guess it's a little extra firepower. <laughs> Could you imagine getting like a light cruiser or destroyer gun you are and then putting it on your, your back lines? Those Omega Whales, they're going to have like six of them. One for uh, for the whole backline and everything. I like how New Jersey splits a cake in the middle of Acula, so it looks like Acula is getting split in half here. <laughs> Stop, ALM. Can you show us what your current meta showdown fleet looks like? I, I would, but my, my meta showdown fleet is literally just... I picked six ships, and I haven't, I haven't optimized it. So... Um, I can show you what I'm using. It's not full clearing yet, so um, it's pretty, it's actually not even clearing that well. I, I like I feel like it barely does half a million right now, which is really not that great. I guess I guess the boss fleet is really hard. Um, I guess the boss fleet is is pretty hard this time around. I maybe I should do a video on the mechanics of how it works because I. Because it works a little bit differently than every previous meta boss. Maybe I should do that. And then I'll, I'll actually have like a real fleet that I'll, I'll use. Gonna need 12 of those guns for BBs. Oh boy. Do you play AL on mobile at all anymore? Um, Very infrequently. But but yes, I still have one of my phones with Azure Lane on it. Uh, downloaded. And that way, if I need to, like, go out and still do something, I can bring that phone with me. So, like, if I know I'm going to be out during a PvP reset, I'll bring that phone with me and I'll I'll play Azure Lane. But typically, most of my play, I would say, is probably still on, on uh, PC. I've been trying to do a bunch of different fleets yet. I haven't really found something much consistent yet. See, I feel like the consistency is there, but but the the actual damage loadout. Um, one of my phones, yeah, you gotta have different phones for different occasions. Um. Anyway, uh, look at this fleet, eight thousand backline. I feel like I would have been terrified of this before. I'm not too scared of this fleet. Actually, I take that back. Anchorage is there. <laughs> I'm really just scared of Anchorage here. Thanks for the follow, Pyrus Wolf Twenty Two. Always, always, uh, always good to. All right, let's see who has the Manju item. I guarantee you, their Manju item goes on uh, Anchorage here. 
Breezy Steel resubscribe for one month. This yo, you're back on Twitch with a bunch of nice emotes. Hey Breezy Steel, welcome back. That's your ninth month. Thank you so much uh, for resubscribing. And yes, I am back on Twitch. Did you see what my summer schedule looks like? And I was gonna say it's very tentative, and then I laugh because um, it's so tentative that I literally, I literally screwed up the first time. <laughs> I was supposed to stream this morning, and then I was like, oh, it's Father's Day. Uh, nope, not going to happen. Sorry. Papa, Papa Meta. Papa Meta gets priority, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did not see your summer schedule. That's because I posted it on YouTube. <laughs> um, I think I posted my schedule maybe here on Twitch. I don't know. Twitch's scheduling interface seems to be... Maybe I'm just a too boomer. But it seems it, it seems really sus. I hate their I hate their user interface for it, and I'm not sure if it's actually like working or if anyone here on Twitch even checks schedules. I don't even know. I feel like most people didn't, but maybe they do. Um, but yeah. IDK if you do or not, but you should tweet when you're going live. See, I don't usually tweet when I'm going live, especially if I'm going to go live three times a week. Maybe I'll like tweet. Maybe I'll make a little graphic and and pin a tweet of my schedule because I don't want to. I don't know. Maybe. But if 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 you want to get notifications like a ping like to your phone directly that knows that you will get it when when I go live. Go to my Discord server and give yourself the stream notifications role. This is a personal role that you can give yourself. You don't have to even ask anybody. You literally just have to give it to yourself. A bot will give it to you. And whenever I go live, you will get pinged. I, I don't like pinging people that all the time. I don't know. This is probably really bad for my growth, but it's just like I don't like pinging everyone all the time. So what I, what I did is I made a role, and you can opt in in um and when you opt in then you can um when you opt in you'll get the notifications and then i know like hey this person's okay to ping so i'll ping you a bunch every time that i go live whether it's on youtube or on twitch that's probably the best way um that's probably the best way to do it um because that I know works. Like, I know the stream notifications on Discord will work. You will get them. You're not going to get these, like, ghost notifications from YouTube or miss something on Twitch. So if you do, that's the that's probably the best way uh, to do it. Now, I know not everyone has Discord. Um, and while you can use my Discord without using the Discord app or making an account, because uh, we have, like, anonymous usage for Discord... Um, anonymous quote it's discord it's not that anonymous um but yeah we should we should um you're not gonna get like yeah that would be the best way breezy steel i literally read it i said you're resubscribed for one month or you're resubscribed for your ninth month and then i was like wait a second that's twice and then i realized tier two because <laughs> this is this is how i know like oh no tier two thank you so much for going to tier two that's awesome uh, i think you get special emotes can you bring the ones I can you bring can you use the special emotes that you uh, got for tier two? But thank you. That's actually perfect. I just gave myself the roll. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, if you're in Discord and you have it on your phone and you get notifications for that, that's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, if you're not, then I don't know. We should probably I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'll do I still think it I don't know. I don't like requiring anyone to have one specific type of software. Like some people might not be into Discord or might not be into Twitter. Um, so I always try to make people not have to download software at all, right? So YouTube, you can watch me without downloading. Twitch, you can watch me without downloading. My Discord server, you can actually join without downloading the app if you don't want to. Um, and then Twitter is obviously public, so you can look at my Twitter feed without without. Um, being logged in or having downloading the app um i think that's very important to be able to have like not people not have to download software that they don't feel comfortable with um because i know there are certain apps that i'm not comfortable with and when people like are like oh you can only see this if you have that app i'm like well i'm not comfortable with that app on a certain device 
So we're going to, we're not going to have that. Okay. As you can see, tier two emote. Ah, we got Akashi. I, I remember it's that Akashi because, because you're being a mega whale. <laughs> Thank you so much, Breezy. You have tier, you have emotes in tier two and tier three. I, I do think, um, I do have emotes for tier three. I think the tier three emote is the credit card plus 13, like gold. Honestly, it should be UR. I think that's the, I think it is. I got to go double check. <laughs> G man, you're the timing on Nightbot. That is real. The timing on Nightbot is real. Um, yes, that is the Discord server. So if you, if you want to join it, easy, easy cap there. All right, we're going to run them OPSI first, just because I want to make sure throughout the stream. We are using our free recons as much as possible. We're just doing it. We're, we finished the whole map already. I'm actually on top of Operation Siren this time, guys. Look at that. I've actually cleared it with 11 days to go. It's not like literally the night before, like two hours before reset that I'm rushing to get everything done. I mean, I'm still like going to probably rush everything at the end. Um, but yeah. Okay, guys. If you, uh, if you haven't done your repulse meta fights... Feel free to do them here, and I'll look at your fleets if I remember, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, but I'll look at your fleets over there. All right, let's do some dailies. Let's collect these. All right. Um, so the first thing we want to do is find a 40. Where's a 40? We want a 40. We don't want to waste our time with these little 10s. They don't even give enough, like, they don't even give enough materials. They don't even give gold prints that often. They're, like, pretty much a waste of time for me. So here we go. This is a 40. We can do a 40. And we'll recon it. And then we'll do some dailies. And uh, we'll call it a day. And then and then we're going to... I don't know if I want to start Dewey today. What do you guys think? Should I start Dewey today? Um, let me know in chat. Do a stronghold. Tier 3 will be next stream whenever you stream again. So I have to look at my own schedule. This is... I'm such a good... I'm such a good streamer. Um, <laughs> I think... I don't... See, see, I have a rolling day, so I don't know what you guys think, but I might stream on Wednesday or I might stream on Monday. Uh, it's gonna be one of the two. Um, so I haven't, I haven't really decided. Let's see, when is my next day? Oh, that's me getting feedback played. Where is my schedule? See, I feel like it's such a pain in the ass to find the schedule sometimes. Where are we? Anyway, the point is, I will I plan on um streaming um either Monday or Wednesday going forward. And then I'm going to be streaming on Thursday nights cuz that's that's when Miss Meta gave me permission to to to, to stream, so do it! Do it! <laughs> Operation Suffering. Actually, Operation Siren's not too bad. I don't know. They've basically made it pretty tolerable at this point to just, like, run. To run and go. To go and run. Start Dewey today. That means I have to re-equip my fleets. I do actually need to probably... I, I do want to make a uh, World 14 um, guide video. Just because, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> There's still a couple things they have to fix to make it tolerable for you. What is that? I'm interested. I'm interested if you have um, any insights. Maybe something I miss. Also, I think I've asked this before, but what is the Owl All Access Pass 2018 that's next to your name? Because uh, that sounds like a Bunker Hill thing. <laughs> no, it's obviously not, but I'm just curious what it means. And also, I'm curious what you think should be made better about OPSI. Um, I mean, it's not perfect. I understand that, but it's way better than when I made that OPSI guy that has like 90,000 views. I, I, I still get comments on, on that video, and I'm just like, oh boy, that is a very old video. That is like literally like week one that it came out. And so much about Opsi has changed since then. I don't know. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to remake that video at some point. I think I think priority goes to remaking some other videos first, though. But maybe we'll see. Overwatch League. Oh, okay. Overwatch has a partnership with Twitch. 
I feel like I've only played Overwatch a few times. Um, pin a comment on it that's out of date. Did I not do that? Um, if I haven't done that, let me do that. Let me mute this so you guys don't get like my voice from the video. All right, let's go. Yeah, wow, 92,000 views. 93 almost. Okay, pinned comment. Uh... All right, we'll uh, we'll edit the pin comment. Edit two. Uh, what shall we say? I don't know if you guys can hear me click clack typey typey. All right, I think I think we. S All right, let's pin this. All right, so we pinned a second end a second edit, um, on that video, and that way, if anyone comes in, they'll know that like it's still not a bad video. I still am keeping it up because there are some. What shall I say, like? There are some, like, good things about it. So I'm, I'm not, like, going to take it down, per se, because it's not, like, completely inaccurate. It's actually a good reminder of how far we've come in OpSci, especially as far as the user interface. So um, so I'm probably going to keep up the video. But, yeah, now now I have the, the, the pinned comment be a little bit more defined that that is the case. All right, we've hit our we've hit our coordinates for Meta, and I've seen that nobody has uh, has decided to do the repulse fight. I feel like everyone's tiring of these repulse fights. <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh, these are tedious. All right, number one, I want to be able to move the camera while moving the fleet around the map, just like the event story maps. Is that not what it's doing right now? I'm just like. Maybe I'm misunderstanding, but it's moving the camera with me. And then I move around so I can have my target. I don't... I am, Maybe I'm missing something, but I feel like that's what it's doing. So, like, if we go in here... Okay. Why can't we do that? Oh, uh, because we're in the middle of a fight. I need to exit first. I always hate that I have to exit the fight first. But I think it's probably a good thing because some people probably accidentally leave a fight that they don't want to leave. So um, that's probably a good thing. All right. So if we go like here, like the camera follows. It's kind of janky follow, but it does follow. You mean you don't miss the map doing a pointless 180 flip? Oh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Totally. <laughs> Oh my. Yeah, that's totally it. I did them at reset because I was still awake then. Oh, that that makes sense, G-Man. That makes sense. You know what would be kind of interesting is if you could do unlimited amount of meta help fights. And you could help as many people as you want, but you couldn't, you can only get points from the first three. Most people wouldn't even do more than three. They'll just get their points, but you could actually like test out a little bit more or help some other people. I feel like when this first came out, everyone was trying to get their fights because you could only, every person could only summon two and they could only, and they could help three people. So you always felt like you were short on meta fights, but now it's like, 
I feel like half the people in the game don't even don't even do meta fight helping anymore. So it's like you sit on this meta fleet and it's like no one's helping me. What are we gonna do? Am I gonna waste oil to clear this thing? Um, and I feel like that's especially true with repulse because repulse is definitely someone where most people are not gonna one shot it by themselves, so they're going to need help. Agreed. Pa bit of pain finding anyone who wants to jump on my repulse meta fights. Even worse on my alts. Think everyone hates the shields. Yeah, those shields are pretty nasty. It's kind of like this mix too. It's like, do you want to have these preloaded's where you can get the shields down early, b earlier, but but you're giving up a lot of damage, or are you gonna go with the other ones and just like hope you're like f can get a fourth shot in there, and that fourth shot just basically hopefully crits. Like it kind of is weird because it's like, oh, I need Helena to proc, but I don't need her to proc like the first time. I need her to proc perfectly on like the fourth time once all the shields are finally down. And I needed to have it time up perfectly. And mo and if you're autoing, that's just a nightmare. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Repulse meta is certainly certainly something. She, she, she's she got some special sauce over there. <sighs> Great idea. I wish there was a single target boss I could repeatedly sortie against test units. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like there's certain game modes where it's like, I'd want to actually test more. Like, I don't need extra points. Like, I, I think there should be a, a certain number where, like, doing it over this amount won't get you any more. Because you don't want people, like, you want people to take a break. Okay. Even, like, you don't want them to burn out. But it would be fun if I could test PvP fights against, like, random defense fleets. Like, no, no points, nothing, no whatever, but just testing out fleets. Or if I could um, do the same for for different different boss fights, yeah, definitely op size things like that, meta fights. Pre twenty five k points, you usually get plenty of assists. Longer on in the season tends to dry up. You know, that is true. Uh, especially every season starts to dry up once you get later in the season, as everyone gets the points they need and don't really care too much about everything else. But I feel like it's especially early this time. I feel like. Um, I feel like I'm already still struggling to get repulse meta assists and it's like no one has her yet like it's like it's pre phase one for most people and it's just like oh okay <laughs> I'm not gonna collect my repulse meta until probably like the last week of the of the uh, season though gotta get that plus one dock space am I right I should probably collect these so that I see them on the maps. That would probably be good, right? Use all these siren coordinate loggers. I don't know if I'll use those corrosion fours, but I might use those corrosion sixes. Um, I think the shop resets tomorrow, but we'll find out in a second. Does the shop reset tomorrow? The shop resets tomorrow. Awesome. We'll do that later. People hate repulse, I guess. Rip, rip Hawks waifu. <laughs> the phase one of repulse meta makes the fight seem really rough with 83% damage reduction. That is true. So if you cannot get past phase one, you're going to do like nothing. It's kind of like this weird... Um, Kind of like this weird trip where it's like if you can get past phase one and phase two and get into like phase three or four, you're gonna actually do some decent damage. You can ease you can get to like four million, not too hard. But there's uh, four million. Four hundred, five hundred thousand without too much struggle. But if you get stopped early, you get hard stopped early, man. Like you could really, really uh get pretty screwed on like under a hundred thousand points god i love that burmy and bolty old uh, loading screen have it set as my wallpaper on your laptop beautiful don't do what that one guy did at the uh what was he was he at the medical school presentation or was he on veteran i can't remember if it was medical school or veterinarian school some sort of like medical field um whether it was for humans or animals uh that was that was so funny 
<laughs> I I was so funny. I made a, a really shitty meme TikTok about it uh, because I was like, that is too funny. That was the best. That was the best reaction to it, too. Hello there. Why? Hello there. I think, yeah, I think it has to, that quote has the Y in front of it, right? Why? Hello there. But yeah. <laughs> the point thing for phase switches is, is weird yeah exactly i that's why i said i might make a video about it but i want to do my world 14 guide first i have a couple things you're gonna you guys are gonna be mad at me see yesterday i had like a free day like my first free day in such a long time i could do literally anything and i was like all right i'm gonna stay inside i'm gonna rest up i'm gonna sleep in Maybe I'll do some editing. I did not get to editing. I didn't even I didn't even touch it. <laughs> I did, however, play some um I did, however, play some uh Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel. That was so infuriating. Okay. Maybe it's just maybe it's just my membranes, but I feel like none of my opponents ever disconnect, right? When you start playing in like platinum your opponents don't disconnect. They're not they're not quitting, right? They're they don't want to lose rank. So they're not quitting. They're all tryhards. And um and so they never quit. However, I feel like I feel like there were multiple times on Saturday where I'm like in a winning game state. Now, I'm not saying that I had like OTK on board and that I was going to win like that turn, but I was going to say like I had an established board, okay? Or, and I was up on resources, or like, like maybe I wasn't gonna win that exact turn, but I was in such an advantageous state that it was like, I was probably winning like 90%, unless they top decked like crazy. And I was like, and that happened like three or four times where I just get disconnected. Where I'm like, to now there, there was a time where I got disconnected and, um, and I was totally gonna lose that game anyway. Like, like it, it was, it was, uh, it was over. He 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 had an established board, and I had no outs in my hand, and it disconnected. And I was like, okay, whatever. I was gonna lose that one anyway. Not a big deal. But an overwhelming majority of them, like I would say, eighty or ninety percent of the ones where I disconnected, I was in what I would say, the winning position. Like, not necessarily OTK like winning right now in this phase um but definitely like feeling very comfortable like I, when i play and i'm losing i get very nervous i just do and then there's like a moment where i'm like okay i have control of the board i know what my deck's doing i know what my opponent's doing and i feel very relaxed very comfortable and usually i don't mess things up because i'm in this like zone state um once i get out of there and uh and that when when you're in the zone state, I feel like when you play Master Duel, you can't even get in the zone state because you're like, oh, this is not like the zone because I can literally just disconnect and lose. And you might think that like four disconnects, five disconnects, not a big deal. But honestly, that's a lot of ranks. That's like a difference of 10 in the ranks thing because, because like instead of a win, it's a loss. And when you're going for streaks, that's such a big deal. And it's like four, four to get a rank usually in platinum. I think, I think it's four. So it's like, that's, that's like two, two full ranks right there. It was so irritating. You can use in Yu-Gi-Oh! in a matter of one to two turns. <laughs> yeah, definitely. OTKs and FTKs are a thing. FTKs have kind of been settled down. I don't think we have too many FTKs anymore, uh, but OTKs are certainly a thing. Like it's right now, the meta in Master Duel is, do you win the coin toss? Yes or no? Okay. If you win the coin toss, do you open a starter, which is like 80% of the time for like good techs? Okay, great. You open a starter. Did your opponent open max C? No? You win. Did they open max C? Okay. Uh, then do you have called by the grave or ash blossom? If you do, you win. If you don't have called by the grave or ash blossom and they open max C, you have a choice to make. Max C challenge. And if you take the maxi challenge and your your opponent almost always wins. <laughs> almost always. Like a majority of the time will win. 
uh depending on your deck of course if if the maxi challenge is only going to give him like two or three cards then that's a that's fine but most decks that are setting up boards are going to give him like 10 and and then they're going to go in and they're going to win um and that's that's basically it and then it's like if you lose the coin toss they go first and then um and then basically it's like did you draw maxi no did they open starter you and you drew didn't draw maxi you lose and if you did draw maxi did they open called by the grave or ash blossom you still lose um that's definitely what premium or what platinum tier feels like very much so um but yeah <laughs> and then there's these weird players who play numerons all those those numeron players who will force you to go first and then they'll just use their like literally their deck is like 30 hand traps and 10 field cards 10 field spells and if they they basically will just fuck you up with hand traps like four hand traps in their hand and then they just play their field spell that otks you with one card and so they just go second and that's a really i don't know i'm not saying it's a bad deck it's just kind of funny because that's like the one example of a deck that probably doesn't work like like i mentioned but it totally is just um it totally is just like maxi um anyway oh yeah support feeder got half a million let's see what fleet you used shinano new jersey perseus i i like the perseus for that double preloaded to get real shields uh john dark is an interesting choice drake and angel interesting okay uh we'll see if anyone else wants to try and then maybe i'll 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 do a few okay uh what else do we need to do did i do my um oh i need to go into storage and we need to use this that's what i wanted to do my laptop stays at home. I'm a work. I'm a working man, unfortunately. Only people that will see the pick is my f my family. Oh, that's in reference to the. Uh... Yeah, my lap my uh my personal laptop has some anime pictures in the background. Um. So if I ever share my screen with somebody, I guess they'll see it. But you can uh you ever stream your Yu-Gi-Oh games? Uh I did once. I was playing. I was playing a. Uh, I wasn't. I don't usually stream when I play on ranked because I want to focus on the game a lot, and that would just mean I'd pretty much 100% ignore chat. Which I don't know. I mean, I could do it, but I just feel like I feel like the difference between I feel like the reason that makes streaming special is interacting with chat. Because I personally, if I'm not interacting with chat, then there's no reason for there's to be a stream. I could just make it a video. You know what I mean? Like, I could just make it a video because both of them are not interacting and one of them is edited so that I'm not wasting your time. Like, the whole reason why you spend the longer time on the stream, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe maybe you guys can tell me if, if you, you, are, you, uh, you are different, but um, the whole reason you, like, are here is for the interaction with chat. If not, I could just make a video, kind of like the video I did make, by the way. If you if you asked if I ever stream Yu-Gi-Oh games, um, I did make a one video. It it did pretty terrible because most of my fan base is not Yu-Gi-Oh fans. Um, that was related to Yu-Gi-Oh. I think here's how I like to say: my average Pokemon Unite video gets like three thousand views. My average Yu-Gi-Oh video gets like a thousand views. My average. Uh, uh, a Jerlane video gets like 10,000 to 20,000 views. And then my average Genshin Impact video is like at 50,000 views. <laughs> so I think that's pretty, pretty funny. What other, did I make any other videos? It's Pokemon Unite, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, Azure Lane, Blue Archive, I think I said gets like, Blue Archive gets 3,000. Um... And then, uh, yeah, those are the, those are the five games that I usually show. Mostly as Um, I'm just a boomer. I haven't touched Yu-Gi-Oh in like 15 years. That's probably a good thing. I feel like, I feel like that's probably a good thing. You probably have a better life because of that. <laughs> it is fun to come back sometimes. I'm really excited about the new ban list in Master Duel. I really. I came back because they brought back a 
Well, I came back for a different, a bunch of different reasons. One, because almost all of my friends play Yu-Gi-Oh, and two, um, and two, um, it's been a while since I've, and by a while, it's not fifteen years a while. Um, it's been a while since I was really active in it, and I was kind of interested in just you know theory crafting, and also. Some of my favorite decks got unbanned. Like they're my some of my favorite decks to play are like basically unplayable in the modern uh, TCG, and also the modern TCG has got some weird jank that is just not very fun for me. Uh, but the Master Duel ban list means that I get to have a little bit more fun and creativity, and it does mean that the games are just max C or bust because that's just the way it is. Um, but I'll take that because I have some, especially in, in like gold ladder, when you're ranking up and you go from like gold or silver, you can have a lot of fun with some random, random stuff that has like one powerful, I don't know. I, 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 maybe people don't agree with me, but I feel like the master dual ban list was perfect in bringing back so much stuff so that they could like have a wide access, uh, to people who like you know have some old time cards that they really enjoy i don't know that's that's my thought process on it i know it's not the healthiest format it certainly isn't but i think it's in, it's it's more refreshing than like that tcg format i think that's just my opinion back in my day games lasted hours with gigantic unorganized decks yeah now we're basically every deck has to be an archetype or a mix of archetypes I feel like I still love mixing archetypes. I mean, if you watched my one Master Duel video on my YouTube channel, please go watch it. It's embarrassingly low. Um, but, yeah, that video showcases me mixing, like, a ton of different decks together. Uh, and that's really, like, what I like to do. Um, that doesn't always work because archetypes are, like, locked into each other a lot these days because they're, like, they have to power creep them in some way. So they, they, they power creep them, but if they like make them generic, then they'll just be too broken and the format will be stupid. So they have to lock them into their archetype. And then what it does is it allows them to make really broken archetypes that are like tier zero when they release. And then like, you know, six months later, after everyone's bought all the packs and they've sold out of all their cardboard, they just, they just ban them. And then that archetype is dead and they can't do anything with it and you can't really splash it in anything else. And you just sell your cardboard at like a 90% loss for profit. Um, yeah, that's that's basically how it feels. Like, I, I feel like I really kept investing in Yu-Gi-Oh! When I was younger, there were th three card games. Probably still the same way, actually. Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic. And Pokemon and Magic had rotating formats, which means... Uh, I don't remember exactly what Pokemon's is, but Magic's is every two years, all of your cards become unplayable um illegal like if your card is older than two years old it's uh not legal to play um and that is extremely annoying like especially in magic where like like back in high school it's like i have no income basically and this card is going to cost me a hundred dollars and then i need 60 cards and and they're all going to go to basically zero or they're going to be unplayable in like two years and that was just such a um, a mind fuck for me i just couldn't get into it pokemon is kind of the same way and so like i play magic i play the pokemon tcg before but i, I just i usually just play on card simulators because i cannot do it which is funny because Yu-Gi-Oh is almost worse their rotating formats now are like three to six months because they're like, oh, you could use any card ever, but also, like, we need to sell product and move product and get people to buy new crap. So how are we going to do that? We're just going to make a ban list that we're going to update every three to six months and basically hit everything so that you have to buy the new decks um, anyway. Um, I guess there it's a little bit better because, like, if your deck is casual, then uh, you don't have to... You don't you're like you can still play your casual deck like 10 years later that's not a problem but um because the power creep is so strong um your casual deck even your meta deck that doesn't get hit for some reason is gonna be like power crept in like two years anyway like easy so probably even a year 
And, and so it's like, yeah, you can play it legally, but like at your locals, that's fine. But like also, it's, you're gonna get you're gonna get ass kicked. Um, so yeah. Um, so it's kind of ironic that it's gone full circle because the reason I like when I was a little kid, I started investing more in Yu-Gi-Oh than I did in the other games is because they didn't have a rotating format, and now it feels like they almost have a a faster rotating format than the other two games. Also, Magic has gotten really into Commander lately. Like, I feel like everyone who plays Magic in my circle all plays Commander. They don't give a shit about Standard. And uh, and I'm kind of like, oh, Commander's actually kind of fun. I mean, it's certainly RNG, but you can play with, like, five people. You can, like, you're not OTKing anybody. Like, everyone gets a chance to play. It's very RNG because you can only play one of each copy, but it's kind of like Overlander decks in Yu-Gi-Oh, like Overlander formats uh, or Highlander formats. Uh, so it's like fine. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like magic is kind of like, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Not really. I still have to pay my college debt. Yeah. That's totally something you should do. Um, especially rather than investing in cardboard. And I say investing is this is <laughs> cardboard's not a good investment folks. <laughs> especially, especially when it's, it's reprintability is literally determined by a for-profit company. Um, I guess technically magic has like the no reprint list or whatever they call that, which is actually a great idea. Um, for collectors like just being like this won't be reprinted anymore and it just like makes collectors go zoom um and i think that yeah that's a pretty good idea who even plays physical cards anymore yeah that's that's some zoomer shit there g man no i'm kidding <laughs> i really like i i have like um not i have like a tendency to shuffling cards because i grew up playing cards so much so now it's like, I always have a deck of cards on me to like, basically be my, like, I, don't, I didn't grow up with fidget spinners. I, I, my fidget spinner was a, was a deck of cards, like shuffling decks of cards and stuff. I feel like, um, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know if I'll, I haven't played a, a real in-person event in so freaking long. Uh, cause I, I quit most of my in-person stuff, um, even before COVID. Cause I, I, um, I was in Japan and I wasn't really playing events in Japan. Um, and, and then I came back from Japan and COVID was here and then, yeah. So like, and even before I went to Japan, um, I was, um, I, I had already quit probably for a little while at that point. Um, just because I was tired of the way that Konami was managing their community and their game. And it was just, it was not making me a happy person. So I, I did quit there. And then I, like I said, didn't play. And that was Yu-Gi-Oh! I actually played other card games when I dropped Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, so I, I was still doing in-person events. Just not in-person Yu-Gi-Oh! events per se. And then, uh, and then yeah, and then I went to Japan, wasn't playing in Japan, and then COVID hit, so I didn't play any card games during COVID, and then um, now it's like, oh, card games are back, and I'm like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Master Duel is actually an alright game. I'm not actually that sad about it. I am kind of sad that I get disconnected randomly, especially when I'm like, it's the most infuriating thing when you're trying to rank on ladder. And you're like, all right, I'm on a win streak of five. And that just got broke because not because I was like losing, but because I literally just disconnected. And the, the thing that really is interesting to me and, and and whatnot is just like the connection will be fine. Um, like 30 seconds later, like I'll get disconnected and get a, a, a defeat. And then I'll just like not even quit the game. I'll just like start next match and it'll be like, yep, you totally found a person in like five seconds i was like what happened to his internet connection like like if you, if you got disconnected you wouldn't you think like oh your your wi-fi went down you got to reset the router reset the game something like that no it's just like it's weird it's like it disconnects and then it's like okay we're back on like two seconds later sorry about that loss that we just handed to you low-key predatory 
Also, Quaalude Candy, I totally missed this comment. Got a 1 million damage in my best run ever. FTG New Jersey Vanguard. A gear Helena Anchorage. Normally, it's only around 750,000, though. My guess is Helena started proccing hardcore there. <laughs> hey, Alum. Hey, B. Foster. Good to see you. I feel like B. Foster always comes... Every time he comes in, I feel like he's always like, hey. And I, I, always, I always remember his comments of hey and then i feel like i feel like you just lurk which is fine by the way lurking is fine i'm a lurker 90 percent of the streams that i show up in uh so i mean it doesn't really help for engagement and it doesn't really help for those metrics so you know please don't lurk but also like that would make me hypocritical if i if i say that because <laughs> i lurk on most of the streams that i do have you seen moist critical i see i don't watch moist critical and the only reason i know about moist critical is because i feel like people meme him so hard that if you use if you watch any meme video like moist critical's probably in it but i don't actually personally watch him and nothing against the guy um i just don't i don't watch him i you know i can't watch everybody and he just wasn't somebody that i watch um but I do know of him just because he's in like every freaking meme video, especially that one where he screams. That's probably like one of the the most, I don't know. I like still have that in my head and I don't even watch this guy, but that scream is there. My lurking, it feels validated now. Thanks. Hey, Thorny Short. I actually don't recognize your username. So that probably means you are a lurker or you're new, but my guess is a lurker. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you want to lurk, that's fine. I mean, you know. Cross! Hey, Cross! Thank you for the the sub. Back to six months. Also, please stop making alts on my Discord server. You're making my mods very angry. <laughs> but thank you for the sub. Um, okay, we are enhancing Nikias list? Nicholas? LMAO ban alts. See, the thing is the thing about the thing about alts is I really kind of want people to be able to make accounts to like check on Azure Lane stuff that may not necessarily be their real account. Like maybe they don't want to join my server with their real Discord account, but maybe they want to make an alt and they still want to follow uh, some news or whatever. Um, so like, I really want my server to be okay with alts for people like that or people who just don't feel comfortable with, with downloading Discord on whatever. Um, but that also means that it opens a, an avenue for, you know, ban evasion. And that's always, um, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. You, it, you, you gotta pick, they're kind of uh, on different ends of the scale. You gotta pick one or the other. Um, so, yeah. Hardcore Lurker, been around since the Bunker Hill grind. You've been, you've been, uh, you've been around. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a long time. I feel like, I, I feel like, how long ago? was the well i don't know if you were there at the start of the end but the end of it was a year in a, a third ago and that took nine months so the start of bunker hill grind was really two two years ago yeah i think yeah start of bunker hill grind was two years ago which is crazy to think about um especially since i just finished new orleans like friday I swear, the new UR gear in Vanguard feels like Fate Sim for FDG. She did half of New Jersey damage versus Sharn Host Matter. Now she's MVP half of the time versus Repulse Meta. Yeah, Vanguard's really good. And uh, that spread reducer is also really, really good. Everyone is paranoid. No one's going to try to dox you unless you do something stupid. You know, here's the thing. Even if it's like a 1% chance of getting doxed, once you're doxxed, you're doxxed. There's no, like, going back. So, like, yes. Are people probably 
having biases uh and end biases in, in behavior economics basically they talk about end biases where where um humans tend to put higher expected values on the extremes on the extreme bad and the extreme good that's why people play the lottery that's why people are scared of planes um and i'm not saying that's like bad because humans are, tend to be risk adverse they also tend to be volatility adverse um and and so like pure math uh, may not necessarily explain the human experience uh there and that's that's why behavioral economics exists um but but yeah it so are they probably making the quote economic rational expected value decisions on the doxing probably not they're probably overestimating the probability that you do get doxed but i will say this uh, a couple of things. One, if you are doxxed, it's terrible. And two, if you are doxxed, there's no going back. And three, uh, especially with forward content, just because you're not doxxed today doesn't mean things that you do today can't cause you to be doxxed in the future. Um, and because the internet is forever, that is problematic. So, so because the internet is forever and you you know, let's say you live 70 or 80 years and you start being on the internet when you're 10, which I feel like is a pretty, pretty standard thing. That means you have 60 years potentially right there. Um, and that, that cumulative additions start to add up a lot, especially when you talk to probabilities. So anyway, uh, maybe I'm paranoid, but, but certainly, um, being doxxed is no fun and no unserious matter. I think you'll start your, your dachi grind now. Yeah, do it. Do you have Max New Jersey and FDG? Oh boy, do I. I do. This is my New Jersey. She is 200 oh affinity. She is pretty much all maxed out. I don't think there's anything I can do better. Skills, affinity, level. She's even maxed at her her experience. So when when 130 comes out, then she's going to be at 130. All plus 13s. These can't go to plus 13 yet, so only plus 11. Do you even think if anyone would care about if I was doxxed? Here's the thing. A lot of people who get doxxed are not popular until, like, they do something that make, like, some something that goes viral. Or, number two, and this is probably also important, you guys are getting doxxed every day by big tech, and so it's kind of like, maybe they're not selling it to like the internet but they're like they're selling it to everyone on, in the data brokers behind the scenes and um that's not good either i mean is it as bad as like when you get like twitter famous at doxed no but but it's certainly not good um anyway uh you wanted fdg so fdg is done too she's 125 she's 200 affinity uh, she doesn't have all plus 13 gear on right now. She's got plus 10, so that could be better, but she's pretty much all done. She's also fate five. Um, yeah, she's fate five, so, or not fate five. Sorry. What am I saying? Azuma's fate five. FDG doesn't have fate five. That was a mental lapse. Ignore me, boomer. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for the most part, yeah. <laughs> Kronk needs to go to 125. She's almost there. Almost there, Kronk. Kronk Bonk will soon be soon. More fleet tech. Yeah, I definitely need more fleet tech. I'm pretty... I'm just shy on a few things. I'm so close to getting this done. I'm trying to think of like, some of the things I could do to easily get that. And I think it's also funny that 27, uh, 2700, 2700, 2700, and then Iron Blood, they're like, 4050 like why is it this 2700 i don't understand so it's kind of funny because my highest level is eagle union but also low-key like my highest actual numbers by a long shot is iron blood thanks to you iron blood simps um but it's still not the highest level which i i just think is funny like why did they go 27 27 27 and then 4000 like it's not like Iron Blood has that many more ships than everyone else, right? Am I, am I missing something? Monkey Smash! Welcome! I, I like it. So you have a Founder Pass, a 9-month Subscriber Pass, and a 
hype train conductor pass monkey smashes over there um sporting all the goodies in in my opinion vanguard she doesn't do as much dps as uvh she but she debuffs the enemy for your other big hitters i mean why not both is there a reason is there a universe why why, why not vanguard and uvh i feel like selling my data doesn't matter because just it's just selling my info to bots and algorithms rather than people actually invading my privacy. Eh, I don't particularly want my data to be used um, in training AI. That that's I don't want computers learning off my data, which is funny because they're doing it right now. Um, so. I certainly obviously accept it to a certain degree, um, mostly because I have to. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I definitely am not like someone who's like wanting my um, my data to be training AI. That's just not what I personally want. All right, who needs to level up? I have too many one twenties. All right, Nautilus, here you go. <clears throat> Iron Blood originally got double the fleet tech points because they had less ships. Then they gave them events in a row. Oh. Yeah, we don't need Iron Blood events for the next three years. I think that's not going to happen. I think, I think Iron Blood does a lot. It does very well on global. So I think they're going to keep having those. But maybe one a year. One a year is probably enough. I mean, I mean, I would rather they didn't, but I don't think it's a big deal as some people think. Uh, eh. <laughs> I think. I think if anything, it's um, my personal opinion is that it's um, most people probably care less than they probably should because it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that doesn't directly affect you like on your day-to-day -day, but it's a it's a worrying trend long term but that's my personal opinion and you're free to think differently my iron blood fleet tech is also the highest funny when i remember grinding for the ugly sisters to be able to begin developing fdg i know i literally remember grinding like all of the ugly sisters and then grinding rune just so that i could have runes fleet tech to start FTG and back in the day you could only grind rune with heavy cruisers so you couldn't grind rune with like Z23 and so you had to go get these really shitty iron blood heavy cruisers and then you had to go grind them and they were terrible and then you had to get rune and then once you got rune you used rune you had to level up rune just to get the fleet tech to get FTG and then you had to like it was crazy because then it was yeah that was I remember that and it's so funny now that Iron Blood is the highest. <laughs> Next three weeks instead, I agree. LOL Rune Aha. Only remember she existed because her amazing new skin. Yeah, that's pretty good. What does 200 Affinity on New Jersey do? Yes. So 200 Affinity gives you 12% boost to all stats except speed and gear. That's what it gives you. So, very good. And that includes firepower and reloads. So, so very good. So, like, for example, if you watched in that last PvP fight, I don't know if you were here for that, but I was fighting against another New Jersey. Um, now, I don't remember if it was Oath, but let's say it had a fire control radar on it, and I had a high-performance fire control radar on mine, and we were both max leveled. If I was oath and they weren't oath, I would fire first. So it's it's important for that. Um, the reload buff is probably the most important here, at least in PvP. But it's you know firepower, twelve percent boost of firepower ain't bad either. The back in my day, that is when you know you've played a good amount of time. That is true. I mean, I've been playing as your lane for three years now. I guess we can go look up the number of Valentine's days I had. We can look that up. Where is it? Four Valentine's Days. We've had four Valentine's Days. 
Now, to be fair, the first Valentine's Day was like less than a month after I started playing. So, so this is not like a full year representative. Um, but yeah, that's three years and some change. Or that's four Valentine's Days we've passed in this game. <clears throat> oh, there's my season end calendar. Season ends in, in, in a couple a couple hours. Well, I mean, the last reset of the season happens in a couple hours. The season ends, obviously, at midnight uh, Pacific time. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hey, LM, just got home from work. Glad to catch you the rest of your stream. Yeah, I'm, well, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It is almost time for me to go, actually. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's almost time for me to go, uh, unfortunately. But I'm glad you were able to catch just a little bit of it. I have to go no later than 20 minutes. So you guys, you guys. Um, but also, I got to go do um, laundry. I got to switch over my laundry loads. I will be back in like three minutes. Um, so uh, just give me a second. I guess watch this ad. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> All righty, I am back. I switched over the laundry, got it started, grabbed a little snack. I'm going to eat it now. And uh, let's catch up with chat. Em, are you going to finish Harkiri before jumping to PR5? Mm. No. Well, I take that back. We'll see what PR5 comes out with. But I am... 95% confident that there will be at least one ship in PR5 that I care about getting first over Harkiryu. So, I don't know. Here's how I look at it. I'm pretty confident we're going to get a new UR, UR equipment that I'm going to want. At least to test. I'm pretty confident there's going to be an SR ship that I like and want immediately. I'm pretty sure the DR or DRs that come are probably going to be power creep versions and best ships in the game. 
And I don't think that I care about her Kiryu enough to get her to dev level 30 before PR5 comes. I have everybody else done. It's just her Kiryu that I'm missing. Um, so do I really care about her that much? No. But let's say PR5 is a complete dumpster fire. There's no cool, cute ships. They're all trash. The DRs are worse. They don't release the UR gear. Or if they do, it's like a submarine torpedo or something stupid that we don't need. Then I guess in that world, I would stick with PR4. I reiterate, I do not think we live in that world. <laughs> but yes. Anyway, so the answer is probably very, very likely no. I forgot to change the secretary for your Valentine's Day. So now you have two UR bull in Valentine's. That sucks, dude. Um, yeah, that's why I put out those announcements every year because I'm like, n no one wants to have their account tied to a Valentine's Day they don't want. You gotta, you gotta plan that shit out, man. What is this? Watching without video? Wait, so Twitch tells me that you're watching without video. How do you do that? Wait, how do you watch without video and why does Twitch know that? They know that you didn't. I guess they do. They should know. But why are they announcing it to the world that you're watching it without video? What factions do you think might be coming to PR5? I think I think the majority of the factions are going to get somebody. The US is going to get one. I hope the I hope that HMS gets one. KMS will probably get one cuz KMS obviously has so many paper ships they need them. Um Hmm. Can't do more than 750,000 damage on repulse metal. May I, may I have to marry ships? That is true. Marrying ships does matter. Um in before Petropavlos DR. I do think that there is a chance the Russians will get something, but then again, I don't know. I feel like I feel like we were all primed for a Russian PR event. We had we had a we had a we had Kronk come out in February. Like we had never seen one before. We were like all set. And then and then things happened. I mean, to be fair, Zerlane de devs plan like a year in advance. Um also like what is uh Wargaming is Russian, right? So like I felt like we were going to get it and then and then I feel like maybe not anymore. <laughs> I love the f I love that you aren't a fan of submarines. I couldn't care less beyond the nice skins. I mean, submarines are are undebatedly the least important part of ships in the game. They don't care. They don't matter in PvP. So why do they matter at all? Right? That's how this works. Um, but I say that. But um, I I yeah. <laughs> Willing to bet that we get a Russian or CN ship. I don't know what they would do for Chinese ships for PR. I don't It's because, okay, to be fair, PR ships have to be from Wargaming. They have to be World of Warships. If the, if the ship's not in World of Warships, it will not be in PR5, okay? And it almost always is a most recent, like, look at ships that have been released in the last year at Wargaming, and you have your short list of what's coming in PR5, okay? That is the best way to figure out what will be coming. Um, so I don't think there's any Chinese ships in World of Warships, and so I don't think we're going to get a Chinese PR-5. But Russian, definitely possible. <laughs> Submarines are still better than Kashino in PvP. I mean, are they, though? Kashino exa actually exists in PvP. Okay, I gotta go cook a tomahawk steak now. Got a good tomahawk for cheap. No, that's awesome. You're gonna make me hungry, dude. I was like... I have like no food in my house because I didn't go shopping, um, and and so like I'm like scrounging around on like freaking like just random stuff. I'm out of seaweed too, and that makes me mad. I'm like I typically have a bunch of like snack seaweed just laying around, and now I don't have any. Um, but but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Enjoy your tomahawk steak. I hope it's really good. I you're gonna make me like get hungry over here. Um, 
awesome. Been a lot of madness in World of Warships this last year. A U.S. Battleship CV. I hope the U.S. gets something good. Um, whether it's a CV, I don't know. I really hope that it's not a CV because I feel like... I feel like they have a potential to add a lot of good CVs. Although, if we have a battleship too, we still have the Iowa stuff, which I imagine the Iowa... I don't know. I hope they get something like uh, a good destroyer. I hope they get like an SR destroyer. The US faction? That's good. Like, actually good. I don't know. I don't know what I... See, here's, here's what I'd say about PR5. I could make all the speculations. I could make all my wants. I could make all my desires. PR5's done. Okay, they already know the ships that are coming. They're already planning everything. Everyone who knows them can't talk about them. They're NDAs, but they're all done. Okay, there's nothing I can do that would change anything. So I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna I'm gonna relax, not put any pressure on it. I'm gonna see what they come up with. If they're fun, great. I'm 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 just excited, and and we'll just go from there. And uh, if they're trash, I'll I'll say such, and I'll complain just like I did with PR three. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'll, I'll reserve my comments for when they're publicly released. And Tessa, hey Tessa, thanks for the raid. Welcome, welcome. I was actually gonna raid you today. I saw you were you were streaming, and I'm literally going in like ten minutes. <laughs> I was gonna finally. I feel like the last like three or four times that we've been streaming at the same time, you've ended just before me, right when I was going to raid you. Because I literally, I, like, I said like five or ten minutes ago that I was gonna leave in like twenty twenty ish minutes, and then Tesla comes here. Welcome though. <laughs> Uh, I, I really like your, your GIF emotes. I really need to get some GIF emotes. Um, yeah, I really need to get some GIF emotes. We, we, maybe because we're on Twitch now more, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get on that. But I really do like, I like your emotes, Essa. They're, they're adorable. <laughs> <clears throat> welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. How's your stream? Are you here yet? I know sometimes it takes a second to get over here when is pr5 coming uh, i imagine we'll have it within a month um so probably a month also tessa we need to do our collab thing sometime obviously not today but we're gonna do it <laughs> tessa messaged me about a collab thing and i really want to do it i think it'll be fun it's not gonna be like any grand thing but i think it'll be fun so um where is she you can't just raid me and then leave. <laughs> ah. Predictions: two subs, one PR, one DR, one D. Oh my gosh, this this six seven is just trolling right now. Two subs, a transport ship, and repair ship, and Habakkuk though. If they bring Habakkuk, which I don't think they will, but that would be awesome. A <laughs> breezy steel. Oh yes, she can. No, you can't raid me and just leave. <laughs> That's unfair. Also, welcome to everyone who's a first-time chatter. Thank you, thank you for uh, for showing up. Uh, I hope you guys had a good stream. What were you guys doing? How how was uh, how was your stream since Tessa just freaking left? <laughs> no, we do not need a UR supply ship. All right, we'll uh, we'll we'll stop looking at our dock here. All right, is there anything else I need to do in Azure Lane before I do some last minute Blue Archive stuff and then um, skip on out of here? I don't think so. All right. Um, I guess we could just have Opside go. Oh, we could also just do. Oh, did anyone actually do the meta fight? Let's see. Did anyone do my meta fight? Nope. <laughs> okay. William D. Porter, where? Yeah, William D. Porter definitely definitely uh, needs to come. We need an ALM Tessa Hawk collab. That would be kind of a fun little thing because Tessa's basically just Twitch. I don't even know if she has a YouTube channel. And Hawk is just YouTube. And then I'm like, I do both. Um, so, so that would be an interesting collab. <laughs> <clears throat> Repulse meta and Dewey grind. Yes. All right. Let's do a repulse meta fight. Um, 
my ships aren't even equipped, I don't think, here. Uh, yeah, can I even change them from this screen? Will it, will it not let me change them from this screen? You know what, YOLO, I don't care. <laughs> I know some of my battleships are not currently equipped properly, so this is not going to be a clear, but that's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll just d do this, I guess. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how much damage we can do here. Also, I'm pretty sure that Acula would need to have um, converging torps of some kind rather than the what she currently has is the Wyvern. The Wyvern's not going to do you any good in this fight. Oh, I can change the ships, but I want to change their equipments, but I really don't because I have to keep my equipments for that video that I'm supposed to do. That video that I'm supposed to do. <laughs> no, yeah, I definitely could change the ships from the thing, but I want to change their equipment. So I want the same ships, but I want actually, like, guns on them. I was clicking and holding them. Was I not? I feel like I was. Also, this Vanguard's a little too squishy for this. I feel like I had this back when it was, like, fighting, like... Uh, what do they call it? Um, like level 10 and now that it's on 15 I feel like yeah alright well her shields are gone so we have like one set here and now our vanguard's like having issues surviving come on Duca get your zombie skill in order alright so we're gonna get at least New Jersey a full shot at no shields so that's at least good and we're not even gonna get the uh the Veneto up. That sucks. Okay, whatever. Yeah, Repulse is, Repulse is not as brutal as the last one. We got like 540. Got half a million. It's not very good. But, to be fair, I'm pretty sure Veneto and Acula are both not equipped right now. New Jersey is equipped. You can see the difference. This is equipped. This is not equipped. Also, I'm pretty sure Duka's not equipped either. Although, Shimakaze did dad. Was Shimakaze not equipped? I feel like she was. I feel like I was using her. Maybe she just missed. But yeah, this is equipped. This is not equipped. This could just be because she has wyverns. Actually, I don't even know if she has wyverns anymore. Did I keep the wyverns on her or did I put them on... Uh, I think I put them on Unicorn now for the, for the World 14. Oh, that sucks. I was literally 20,000 short of this guy. Sad. I, not even the highest on my own damage ranking. Oh, well. We'll do those later. The bridge that holds the balance between both YouTube and Twitch. YouTube and Twitch are here for different things. I know a lot of people tell them like they're competitors, and they, they really are and should be competitors, but it's more they're competitors because YouTube tried to do the Twitch thing, not because they're the same. I don't know. I'm always a. I'm definitely a long form video kind of guy. I grew up on uh, how to videos on YouTube, and that's kind of what I think of it for. And it's kind of weird because YouTube's not that way anymore. How to videos are severely like terrible. Like if you're trying to make money on YouTube, how to videos are not the way to do it. They take a lot of time, a lot of research, a lot of editing, a lot of things, and then like they don't get pushed, and they're not like addictive to get extra views and then the algorithm doesn't actually like push them because they don't keep people on for long because here's how it's said here's how i like to say about the youtube algorithm youtube algorithm's goal is to make you make the most money possible which they do by showing the most amount of ads which they do by having you be on youtube for the longest amount of time which means it's going to promote everything to be on youtube for a long time and keep this in mind if you get a really good helpful youtube how-to video that solves your question, answers everything perfectly, and is really short. It's like a five minute video, it's exactly what you, you wanted, it's the perfect answer, and you watch the video, it's like five minutes and it's done. That's, that's a shit video in terms of YouTube's algorithm. Like that's a terrible video, because you're gonna watch the video, you're gonna watch your five minutes, and then you're gonna leave, because it was only five minutes and it was perfect. No, the best how-to video on YouTube, according to the algorithm is, 
a video with a really clickbaity video with no timestamps at all, right? No timestamps, where they jarble for like 10 minutes at the beginning, and then like then they start apps like right when you start getting bored they have some extra like oh maybe this will help then you skip through to the end and then when you get to the end after you've watched this like 20 minute video it's not helpful and so what you do is you go back to youtube and you ask your question again and then you watch someone else's video which youtube gets to put more ads on and you get to keep the retention of the viewer because YouTube calculates how long the person you brought to YouTube stays on YouTube. So like if if I bring you to the YouTube because you watch my video, but then you click on a Hawk video, I still get credit, some credit, at least in the algorithm's mind, for the minutes you watched of Hawk's uh, video because it counts session time. So if your how-to video is really good, it literally makes people leave. And if it's really short, which is what you should do, you should get to the point in your how-to videos, then that's less watch time. And so YouTube makes a lot less money from good how-to videos. And so the, the best how-to videos, the ones that they promote, the best ones in terms of YouTube's mind, are these really long, shitty how-to videos that don't answer your question at all. Because then you, then you watch it the whole time, you get no information, and you go back to the search bar in YouTube probably, and you stay. <laughs> anyway, that's my rant of why how-to videos on YouTube are like, suck. And they used to be amazing and were part of the reason I was on YouTube all the time. You Don't get me wrong. You can still learn a lot of great stuff on YouTube. There's a lot of creators who um, aren't doing this for money. They have full-time job elsewhere and they do this as a side gig and they want to put out great content and they do. Don't get me wrong. And they don't do it like, like they might make a dollar on a video and they don't care. And that's fine. And there's still great stuff out there. I'm just saying if you want to make money on YouTube like to be full-time how-to videos are not the way to do it and obviously when you're full-time you can make better content because you have more time dedicated to that content um and that's just the way it is okay that's rant over <laughs> all right i want to do some blue archive for a hot second before we end here um let me just load it up oh actually i don't even have to load it up i can do it on the other one the power of having multiple devices. Let's go. All right. Um, I think it's this one, right? Hopefully that's the right one. Why does it do that? I don't understand. Okay. There we go. I think that should do it. And let's load it up. And let's see. How many wyverns should I get before I start saving my universal prints? I have two. I think two is enough. Uh, mostly because wyverns are not like the best torpedo bomber all the time. They're like the best torpedo bomber in certain situations. PvB being one of them, and that's why I care about them a lot. But it's really they're like for like mobbing. So they're really good on like Unicorn and Perseus, things like that. But they're not necessarily like super good on like Shinano or something like that. So I would say two. Um, but I'm also really conservative. I don't want to, I like, I mean, I, maybe you could go three, but it, past three is probably overkill. How many Tenrai should I get before going to your second 457? Ooh, that's a hard one. I really like 457. So I would go two 457s and one Tenrai. Well, the the best world you'd have two 457s and two tenrise um i guess the reason i would say the 457 is the tenrai is probably going to go to the prototype shop in like six months from now hopefully so that one should be a free one um so you should be able to get a second one right there um ideally you want you want three of both that way you can run a full fleet of battleships and a full fleet of carriers in your op side with all of the UR prints ideally realistically you probably only need like two and two that way you can build any two one fleet that you want um but yeah ten rides are so good you definitely need to have at least like one in order to get that armor break but once you have that armor break once it's less important to get like multiple I mean, it's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's the best. It's the best plane in the game, no doubt. Uh, so you do need it, but it's. Um... 
All right, well, that's happening. We'll just have eye candy. Poi. Poi. We'll just have poi eye candy while, while we're going to... Uh, um, Azure Lane. Or, sorry, Blue Archive. Oh, new device. We get all of our new load screens. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Alrighty. I just want to quickly do this, quickly do my dailies, and then I'm going to hop out of here. Uh, we're not going to... What do you guys think about if we did some Master Duel later this week? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I've actually started started trying to rank this season. I don't rank every season in Master Duel. Um, but I, I decided I was going to try and rank a little bit this season. Uh, so... I don't know if you guys want me to do any of those. I guess honestly, with this dual this dual device thing, and honestly, we could probably run triple before my RAM starts uh, dying. Um, I feel like um, I feel like we could probably do both. But like I said, I don't know how I feel about streaming ranked battles because ranked battles, I'm, I really want to focus on um, the battle and not necessarily the stream chat. Uh, whereas like when I'm running, uh, when I'm running random grinds over here, which I should be doing actually, now that I think about it, mm, which ones do we at? Dewey's at 13, three, I think, right? You think this fleet will work? I don't think there's enough. Um, I don't think there's enough. You know what? I want to try it. Let's see. I don't think there's going to be enough anti-air for this fleet to work, but I just want to see it if it can go on full auto without changing anything. I think it's going to die. I think it's going to have not enough anti-air, and I think it's going to totally not have enough uh, ACV value. But we'll see if it can do anything. It's more of a test. Expect it to fail, and if it doesn't, I'll be happy, happily surprised. You could just think out loud and read chat. I guess I could do that. I could read chat afterward and just think aloud during the duel. It is an option. I just don't know if that would be exciting for you guys. <laughs> also, that also mean I'd have to play. I'd have to play it on my phone, which is um, fine, but less ideal. Okay. Um, lessons. We. Oh, I didn't mean to click the Miku thing. Hello. I don't know if I should pull Miku. Maybe we'll pull Miku. We got eight days to the event ends. So that means we'll have at least two more streams, hopefully, before the event ends. Um, so maybe we'll do some Blue Archive pulls on one of these streams as well. <clears throat> Starting to become more variety streamer once, once you start streaming three times a week. Three times a week is a lot, man. I don't know how Twitch expects anyone to, like... Like, I get if you're a full-time person, but, like... Maybe they just want full-time people partnered, but I feel like Twitch does not give enough money to warrant being like, you have to stream three times a week, even if you do other things. <laughs> I feel like they're like, I feel like they want you to be like, no, YouTube channel, that doesn't exist. Real life, that doesn't exist. It's just Twitch. Which some people do, and that's fine. And like I said, that's probably what they want. So that's probably why they are encouraging it that way. Okay. How long have we been going today? All right. We're going to go probably till two hours. That's my goal. So that's, uh, that's in like 15 minutes or so. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, we got an area rank up. Just what I needed. How is my fleet over here doing? You know what? The mob fleet's doing fine. I think this boss fleet, though, is going to get sussed. I don't think it has enough anti-air. It literally has no carriers. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. All righty. Let's see. Okay, so we've done our lessons. Now let's go into the cafe. Dun, dun, dun.
Oh, perfect. We have an invite for her. Who are we going to use it on? We could use it on Karen. I feel like more people have been using Karen lately, so I'm going to use it on Karen. Karen's really good at killing Hoshino, which I feel like everyone started using like a month ago. And I really don't know why. She's like fine, but it was like everyone was using different stuff. And then uh, literally a month ago, everyone in the BA meta decided Hoshino is literally the best and everyone's going to run her, which is she's good. She's not bad by any means. Um, she's definitely like tier one for PvP, but I don't think she's like the only tank you can use. And it was just kind of odd that like it was like she was like maybe used by 20 or 30 percent of fleets fleets uh teams and then literally like i don't know a month ago it just it just changed everyone runs her now like did someone make a video about it and this like everyone has to do it now hoshino has been meta from the start that's not true that is just not straight true i can tell you that like back in the day and by back in the day i mean like five months ago I would see Hoshino used like one in every four fleets, probably, which is like still meta relevant, but now she's used in like, I don't know, four out of every five fleets, which is a big difference if you think about it. All right, we're just going to do a hardcore mode because I don't feel like uh, trying the big one when I'm rushing here. <clears throat> if anything, Haruka is the weird one feeling tank pick that is actually meta. Yeah, Haruka... I feel like I don't see Haruka, though. Like, yeah, she's kind of a cool tech, but I feel like I feel like I don't see her very often. Maybe we'll run into one today. But I, I just don't feel like I see her. The reason why you don't really see Haruka outside the top ranks is because she's a pain in the ass to build and pretty much requires to be 5 star. Yeah, who wants to waste their, like, five-star prints or their their Enigma? Who wants to waste their freaking Enigma on, on, on Haruka? Also, Iori, what are you doing? This fleet, this fleet is, uh, I keep saying fleet, but. Um, I don't know, what do you call them, a team? They're, like. Okay. Oh, I should probably call subs. <laughs> oh, I, I completely forgot that Zukaku and Shokaku are um, the boss. I was like, weird. Okay, so by the way, this auto fleet, by the way, worked fine. With, like, no carriers at all on World 13, which is actually a pleasant surprise. No Dewey, though. So I guess we'll just keep running it in the background while it, while it goes. No reason to not. Um, there's literally no one here, so I guess we'll just enhance... Um, Nice, we got it. Just at the last second there. Cool, we needed that. Um, I didn't feel like running, making a second fleet for, for just that. All right, so Nicholas is not really done, but kind of almost done. Shoho, I guess. I don't know. I'm never going to use Shoho again after uni Unicorn retrofit, unless Shoho gets a retrofit, which makes her better. But I don't see that ever happening. All right, let's keep going on the auto there. We'll keep going here. Alum, what's the plus 13 priority gear in your opinion? My BB guns are done. I don't... IDK, if I should use my auxiliaries, Vanguard, main gun... You should always... Your priority is always damage dealing um, equipment. And primarily main fleet damage dealing equipment. So number one is your 457. Number two is your um your ten rise number three is probably your torpedo dommers you know those are your main fleet um those are your main fleet damage dealing ones that's your priority 
then when you get done with that you can start moving into um auxiliaries now anti-air guns are low priority but like also you're gonna get plenty of those prints and they can't be used for anything else so like just here's here so eventually you're just gonna get those to plus 13 naturally by playing the game but i would say that the top priority is uh fire gun prints because the thing is um you're gonna want them for your battleships and then after you're done with your battleships you can use them for your vanguards, like like cruiser guns or destroyer guns, if you have ones that are left over. And at the end of the day, uh, then they can also be used for your auxiliary weapons. So I would say probably those. Then the next is plane prints. Uh, plane prints, obviously, uh, because every carrier is going to pretty much have three slots of planes. So that's that's three plus thirteens, and that's that's a lot of prints that you're going to need. Um, but like your fighters are pretty low priority like you don't need those it's really your your tenrise and your torpedo bombers are going to be your top priority at the beginning um and then after after that so i would say play, the played ones are second and then obviously uh then the debate is between torpedoes and auxiliaries now torpedoes are one slot for only vanguard and auxiliaries are two slots for everybody. So effectively, you'll need more auxiliary prints than you will torpedo prints ever. So I would focus on those third. And then fourth is torpedoes and fifth is uh, anti-air. So that would be my order. Uh, main gun, airplanes, uh, auxiliaries, torpedoes, anti-air. Hey, Meta, love your USS Fleet video. Man, it really helped me. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that was a very long video in the making. Uh, I'm so glad that I was able to finish it for Caleb. And uh, it was a lot of fun doing it. We He came to me with a video and said, Hey, can we make a USS only fleet? And I said, Well, that's going to be really hard. But I need to get Bunker Hill first. So then I said, Okay, let me go get Bunker Hill. And then nine months later, Bunker Hill comes. And then, and then I'm like, Okay. And then I was like, we did a video and we said, okay, Bunker Hill and this fleet just sucks. Like this was before, this was using Georgia and I think we were using maybe Washington, South Dakota or Georgia and like other things. It was bad. It was not good. It was terrible. And I was like, this does not work. And then I was like, okay, but we have a UR event coming. And I thought at the time, because we finished Bunker Hill in February uh, so I was like, we have a UR event coming in May, and I and the the expectation was that it was going to be uh, a US one. That was the the thing. And I said, you know what, this fleet sucks. Let's wait until a new ship comes for the UR. And sure enough, it was New Jersey. And I was like, oh shit, we need to we need to run this. So I was like, okay, let me level her up quick, and we'll run it again. And then. Literally, right when I got New Jersey done, I was like, all right, we're going to do a video with this. And then Anchorage came. And I was like, there's no way we can do this fleet without doing Anchorage. So then I leveled up Anchorage. And then I was like, all right, we got this. And then life got... And then I was like, all right, we're finally going to do this. So I think it was like October or something like that. I was like, all right, we're finally going to do this video. And we make the video. And it just... um. Then, I, then my life got really busy and I couldn't edit it. I literally, like, I still have videos from, like, October that are not completed, edited yet. Um, they're mostly non-time sensitive. Everything that's time sensitive got done. Uh, but, yeah, that's totally a thing. Um, so, so, yeah, I don't know how to say that. But now that it's done, I feel really good about it. I'm very happy about that. Was surprised that fleet worked. Yeah, uh, wa watch them release like a amazing PR five ship that like totally revamps the US the US meta or something like that, because that just always seems to be the way that things work around here. Um, but but yeah, um, I, so that video I think took almost two years in total since the time he asked me because it took nine months to get Bunker Hill, and then uh, and then yeah, everything is just. Did someone say Montana? Yeah, I'm really excited to see what PR5 is, but I'm not really trying to I'm not trying to speculate or or, or put any What the heck happened to Azure Lane over here? This just totally froze. Hello. Um 
I guess we're just going to reset it. What the heck happened? I'm serious. Oh, it totally crashed. It's like dead dead. It's so dead. What the heck happened? I, I don't know how much I'm going to actually keep going in this because it's like it's 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 totally dead dead. And I don't have uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be leaving very soon so okay let's just do our let's just do these all right i think i can restart it i don't know what the heck happened there it was weird All right, let's try this again. All right, there we go. We're reloading. We're in good shape. Sirens deleted your account. That is real. Like they just they just like totally froze everything. All those planes and it was just like, nope. All right. Uh we need to do some PVP fights. We also need to collect some of the tasks. Maybe we can build some of the extra stuff. We're like Russian Russian Russian. I'm looking at my 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 deadline here. I'm getting close. 5 minutes. Okay, five minutes, here we go. All right, we're just gonna do the rest of this fight. And all right, so cool. Why is the auto search not working? Oh, there we go. All right, uh, what was I doing over here? We're gonna check students. Anyone that can be upgraded, we are going to do. Hibiki can get, um, oh, a skill. She can get skilled upgraded. I don't know if I want to upgrade Hibiki because I feel like I might be investing into someone else later, but um, ally crit damage is also pretty good. I, I really want to save them for these. That's why. So I'm actually going to not invest in Hibiki right now. Um, these guys are all done, I think, right? Pretty much. Yeah, they're... Oh, they're not, he, she's not done with that EX skill. Can we get the EX skill? Oh, we need some money. We short on money. Okay, we'll get that done soon. Um, okay, let's go do some PvP fights in Blue Archive, and then that, that should bring us to the end, I think, of the stream. We're just, like, rushing, trying to get... Alright, we're ranked 26! Oh, I gotta wait four hours for the fights. Yeah, I wanna do them on stream, so I'm just gonna fight on stream, why not? Um, we'll collect later. It's not a big deal. Even if, even if I drop outside the, the most recent, it's not gonna be a, the too big of an issue. I'm really surprised this fleet works. I'm going to be real. Just like that it's working so well on 13.3. All right, what do we got here? All right, Mashiro hit the wrong person. Thank you so much. That was lovely. Hey, you're not supposed to be hitting Yuka, you idiot. <laughs> there we go. Easy. All right, this is done. Mashiro's just going to come in here and end our day. Let's go, Mashiro. Finish it. Finish it, Mashiro. Where are you? There she is. Boom. I love the fact it just drops water on her. It's just a fun end, end to that. All right, there's a win. All right, so we're in. We're going to be maybe top 50 today. It's not bad. I'm not, I'll take it. I will take it. We'll see. I, I see. I say that, but I haven't actually beat anyone in the top 50 yet. Uh, okay. Anybody? 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 These are all annoying. I don't want to fight any of these fleets. Whatever. We'll just take our RNG roll. This is not a sure win. This is going to be like a 50-50. It's, it's whoever Mashiro targets. If my Mashiro targets their... Uh, Subaki and their Mashiro targets my Yuka, I win. And if it's the other way around, they win. And otherwise, it's just like order of skills and where they target. Does like, does Iori take out take out the right person? Um. Okay, well we killed Shun early, so that's oh they killed our Shun too. Oh great, this is gonna be bad. I think probably. Where did Mashiro's skill go to? Did it just get... 
Yeah. Okay. That was, yeah, that RNG was not that great. I saw, I saw gold and then I realized we're not even looking for gold. We're looking for, um, we're looking for purple because Dewey's a purple. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's try this one, I guess. Hino swimsuit is, is kind of scary to be, to be frank. It's kind of a scary one. Um, because she is not half bad. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, we're at two hours. I will finish my PvP, and then that will be the, the end of it. Then I got to get rolling. Um, but I'll say my goodbyes kind of now. I don't know. If you want to finish watching the PvP battles, that would be great. But I, I do have to run. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. Um, but I, I was glad I at least could... Um, all right, we got their, their Subaki dead. So that's good. I was glad I was able to at least stream today. I totally forgot it was Father's Day on Friday. Um, I, I do know now, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's why I didn't stream this morning. Um, the next stream is probably going to be... I don't know. Would you guys rather it be Wednesday night or Monday night? Everybody let me know. Monday night or Wednesday night? I don't know. I mean, I'll probably decide, but it will be good to know what you guys think. Just kind of give a little bit of an anecdote. All right. I guess we'll just try it again. We got two more times to try and get in the top 50. Not. It's just a, it, getting in the top 50 doesn't matter. It doesn't give you anything better than the top 100. It's just, uh, I guess, I don't even know what my highest is. My, my highest is probably like 40, I think. I think my highest is 40. And in theory, if we win this battle and we can get into the 30s, we can probably hit my career highest. Oh, Mashiro, why you do this? Uh, Mashiro hit the stupid ghost. It's over. Yep. C can't, can't, can't deal with stupidity. Oh, boy. Monday as in tomorrow or next week? Monday as in tomorrow. But we will see. It might be Monday, Wednesday. Like Wednesday. It's going to be... Yeah, I'm trying to stream three times a week this summer. Um, that's the goal. Uh, so... We'll try that. All right. We'll try our last time to get in the top 50. I was kind of sad about the... Mashiro literally hit the wrong person. It might not be tomorrow. It might be Wednesday. But if you have disc, if you have Discord notifications on, I ping people when I go live. So um, I don't ping everybody. You got to give yourself the role. So so if you don't have the role, give yourself the role. Um, go to bot channel. If you go to bots channel, then you'll be able to you'll be able to to know it. Okay, Iori killed the Hoshino, which means if we get a, 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 a if we get a Mashiro hit right here, this should be okay. Mashiro needs to hit, and their thing needs the whiff. Fuck. Okay, whatever. We had a shot. Whatever. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah, it's gonna be Monday or Wednesday. I haven't decided yet. I had three chances this week week to hit rank one in my BVA in BA. But every time I got screwed by skill RNG. Yeah, exactly. All right, whatever. We'll we'll take 60. That's good enough. All right, so we will uh, just end the blue archive there. I think I did everything for blue archive that I need. Just blah, 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 blah. Checking, checking. We'll just collect our tasks. Call it a day. And, uh, and then we can close out of this one. Zoop. We don't need that anymore. Okay. Um, we'll let this one finish up. How close are we? Oh, okay. We're not necessarily on the boss fight yet. Um, but we should be there pretty soon. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is this the boss fight? Boss fight? Boss fight? Please be the boss fight? Nope. Okay. We got one more of these. It's kind of funny because these are level 119s. And when this first came out, we were at 120 level cap. So, oh, we need to find someone to raid. Okay. Uh, let me go. While well, this is running, let me go find uh somebody to raid because i want to raid somebody and the funny part about this is um remember how i was yelling at at um 
Remember how I was yelling at, uh, I was yelling at Tessa for not showing up to, to the raid. I, um, I feel like, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to do, <gasps> Tessa's still streaming. Okay. I, I got to go raid Tessa. I know she's doing Astro near, so she's not doing Azure lane, but literally I just looked and there's only one person streaming Azure lane besides me. And they're, uh, they're not even in English. They're a Chinese streamer. So, um, and they have three viewers. And I just don't think I'm going to raid them because I, I, I don't know. I feel like they don't know English. They're not streaming in English. Uh, so I think it's back to Tessa. Let's, let's, let's show her a piece of her own medicine, okay? She came in here and she raided me and then she didn't even stop in to say hello. By the way, FYI, I'm totally not mad. I'm just giving her shit. So we got to give her own medicine back to her. We're going to raid her, and then I'm not going to show up in chat, okay? You guys are going to give her all my respect. She's not playing Azure lane, so, you know, maybe whatever. But maybe she's doing something fun. Astro Nier, I've never heard of it. I don't know what that is. But we're going to raid her, and I'm just going to I'm gonna ghost her. <laughs> so anyway, so be nice to her chat and, um, and, uh, and give her my best wishes. Tell her that that I will want to do that collab idea that she mentioned at some point in in the works. And so at some point we're going to do that. <laughs> so keep an eye out on it. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, this is the boss fight, right? Yeah, this is the boss fight. So we don't even need subs. Let's go. Uh, so there we go. We got the done here. Let's see. If this drops Dewey, by the way, that would be the most poggers thing ever. Last run of the day. It's probably not, though. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right. So we can do the rest of this. Uh, or we should probably clean up the dock first, and then we can call it a day. And then we need to uh, put the people that need to go in commissions in commissions. And then we need to get rolling. Okay, that's fine. All right. Commissions. All right, new training. Use the same fleet. Who are we missing? Who are we missing? Um, I don't remember if MDIM's 120. I think she's not. Okay, uh, who needs to be enhanced? Oh, New Orleans needs to be enhanced. And Jarvis needs to be enhanced. Uh, okay, uh, let's unsort this like that. because I, I hate that. All right, so we need Jarvis and New Orleans. New Orleans, where are you? New Orleans is like level 30-something. Okay, there's New Orleans, and now we need Jarvis. Where's Jarvis? Jarvis, where are you? Jarvis? I think she's 70, right? I don't remember leveling her much more than that. Ah, uh, come on. I don't want to have to go through the search. Jarvis! Oh, you suck. You're going to make me go through this search. All right, it'll just be faster. So she's a, a DD Royal Navy. Okay, where is she? She is right. Oh, she's already in a commission. That's why I didn't find her. Okay, well that makes me at least happier. All right, who else needs to be done then? Uh, da, 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 da. I guess we can go Dami Mommy. Let's do Dami Mommy. Let's just call it a day. All right, and we'll do that a little bit later. There's some more oil we don't need. Okay, let's see. Dorm. Okay, let's set up a little bit more so that we have more time before I get off. Sorry if I'm rushing. I am late. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I think that's it. Poi. All right, guys. Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate uh, you guys coming out. I know it was kind of like a haphazard, last minute sort of thing. Definitely, I think, my smallest stream ever here on Twitch. Um, but that's fine. It was it was nice and comfy. Thanks for coming back. Um, I'll probably do one on Monday or Tuesday. Or Monday or Wednesday. We'll see. Um, definitely hop in my Discord and, and check out for server announcements. And give yourself the Twitch. Or, sorry, the... Um, Give yourself the uh, the stream notifications alarm, and uh, then I'll ping you. Otherwise, all good. See you guys next time. Let's go raid Tessa. Give her my best. Uh, tell her I'm not going to be sh showing up because I'm. she's going to have her own medicine. All right, let's go raid Tessa. I like how it, her Tessa shows up twice on my raid thing, but that's fine. Uh, send her my best and enjoy. Take care, guys.